Hey, happy HubSpotter. Have you ever wanted to sync your Google contacts with your HubSpot database? And if you have information in HubSpot, pipe it to your Google contacts because maybe you are in G Suite, G Email, G Calendar, G Contacts. Gee, it'd be great if you could do that. And guess what? Now you can. Hey, you know what time it is. That's right. It's your boy, George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com. And today we're talking about Google Contacts, HubSpot, and how we can easily sync them. Now, if you have HubSpot questions, make sure you head over to georgebthomas.com. But without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. You know, a.k.a the good stuff so here we are in hubspot and we're gonna head up to the app marketplace and we're gonna search for google contacts once we find the google contacts by hubspot sync we're simply gonna click on that you can read this information on the page you can watch the video we're gonna just go ahead and install the app connect google contacts first authorize and then we're going to set up the sync so we're going to connect google contacts here that's going to go ahead and let us log into and connect yes see download permanently delete your contacts go ahead and add that you can learn more but for me i'm good we'll go ahead and hit continue that's going to go ahead and put us to the part where we can set up the sync that'll take us into hubspot choose an object to sync this is going to be a contact sync and we're going to hit next and then we're going to be able to see what happens. So choose which record sync. Use filters to sync the data you want. You can create filters for any Google contact fields or HubSpot lists. So notice these Google contacts will sync with HubSpot. Right now, no contacts. I actually want all contacts, but notice there's popular sync filters. So different labels that you have, different items here that you can see. And again, one of the things you might have a label inside of your G suite that you use, and then they sync over for me. I'm just going to do all contacts and we're going to do all contacts. Notice resolve data conflicts, default to HubSpot, or you can default to Google contacts. Now I'm going to go ahead and default to HubSpot because that is my one source of truth. Manage duplicates, only sync contacts with an email address. Again, you can turn that off if you want, but I actually am always making sure that there's emails in my HubSpot database. Honestly, emails and first names, so I can do some personalization and know who the human is that I'm helping. And then we've got read rules, so automatic associations. You can see what that does here. They do their best to bring existing associations between records into HubSpot. So this means things like companies, things like that. Automatic deletions. We can go ahead and this integration will automatically de delete records in either app. Beautiful. And of course, you can learn more all about those. Now, if we did want to go a little bit deeper in here, we can go to field mappings and notice here we can upgrade to customize field mappings. This ends up getting you into the operations professional. But right now we're going to see that I can do the prefix, first name, last name, company, job title, email, phone, phones, mobile, phones, fax, website, address. Now, one thing you might think about here is this is going to the default phone and the default mobile phone. Now, if you're only doing Google contacts that sync with your HubSpot, this is perfect. However, if you're using another platform, let's say for instance, Salesforce, one thing historically to watch out for is if Salesforce is syncing phone numbers and mobile phone numbers, and now all of a sudden Google is doing phone numbers and mobile phone numbers and there's different phone numbers and mobile phone numbers, well, we might have issues. So one of the things we like to do is if there is another software piping in the phone or mobile phone into HubSpot, we'll actually create custom properties for G Suite phone and G Suite mobile and then map to those. But right now, this is good enough for me. Good to go. Again, you can upgrade if you need to add new mappings, if there's important information that you're grabbing at Google Contacts or you want to go from HubSpot into your Google Contacts, but we'll just hit review. We see all the information right here and we'll hit save sync and bada boom, bada bing. It's that easy. Now we'll be able to come back into this dashboard and see sync health. That'll show over here. We'll be able to see sync settings. Contact sync is on. We can see under here that we can edit the sync settings, turn sync settings, delete sync. And then we're going to see feature discovery. Get to know Google contacts, sync Google contacts with data with HubSpot, all sorts of stuff here for you. But then you're going to see that boom, in sync 500 and 700 and Oh, there it is rolling up failed syncs. You'll be able to click in and see why those failed with HubSpot connecting your Google contacts and HubSpot. It's that simple. It's that easy.
And truly, it is that simple. It is that easy. Now, of course, you might want to upgrade to Operations Hub Professional if you need to do some of that, you know, ninja syncing stuff. But just out of the box, super powerful, super helpful. Again, if you have questions, make sure you head over to georgebthomas.com. I'm here to help you with your HubSpot needs. And as you journey through the Hublandia the land of HubSpot, make sure you're focused on being a happy, helpful, humble human, and I'll see you in the next video.